It is very foggy out there today, but you'll note the Stig doesn't have his rear fog lights on because, of course, he's not a blithering idiot. There he is with his Baroque classics. Oh, heavens, why? He's now coming up. Is he coming up? He's... Hang on. Not a tyre squeal round what I think was the first corner there. Right, that's Chicago. I recognise that. He's coming through. Stig, of course, doesn't need to see where he's going. He's more machine than man. He just sees in numbers. Oh, no, wait, he doesn't. He didn't need to see where he's going. Now he's got to go off down to the hammerhead. Will he remember to break? Yes, he has. Well done, Stig. Quite greasy out there, it must be said, in the fog. Nice there. Well done, Stiggy. Now, belting up to the follow-through. Where's he gone? Hang on, let's listen. Didn't sound like he lifted there. Hard to save a shore. Coming up now through the tie wall. That looks quick. He's a very brave Stig today. Turning in for what I think is the second last corner. And coming up to Gambon. With a baby steer going in there. And across the line. I've no idea which line that was, but I've got the time here. One minute. 34. Point nine. Uh, now, you've got to remember, it's quite a long way down, but the thing is, that was a greasy track. On a dry track, I'm absolutely certain this would be quicker than an Astra VXR and a Golf GTI. It's a very good car. 